Hey, Coach, uh, Keegan Murray, the first half, scoring, rebounding, blocking shots. Is that kind of the versatile game you think he, he can bring to you as he gets older? Well, he's just going to keep getting better, Rick. I mean, he's done it every game so far this year. He's done it every day in practice. I mean, he did it last year in prep school. He did it in high school. Uh, you know, it just, you know, he's a prime, prime example of recruiting is not an exact science. You know, some guys get on lists and some guys produce. And that kid produces every time you put him on the floor. I don't care who he plays against. Next question comes from Don Doxey. Yeah, Fran, if uh, this is your 200th career victory in Iowa, just to talk a little bit about what that means to you. I'm really proud of, of our players, uh, proud of our staff. You know, we came here and, you know, in the beginning, you know, you, you don't know who's going to stay, who's going to come. You know, it just makes you reflect a little bit on, on the great ones that we had and the guys that fought for you uh, and took great pride in, in, in wearing that jersey. Uh, this is a proud and storied basketball program. And, and I was just very thankful to, to Gary Barda and Sally Mason at the time and Fred Mims uh, for giving me the opportunity to come up here and, and get this thing rolling again. And then I'm thankful to all the players that said, yes, I, I want to come be a part of it. Uh, probably the thing I'm most proud of is the most important thing I look for in recruiting is character. And everybody that's played for me has character. And there's a lot of character in that locker room right now. And that's the standard that the guys that came before them set. So ultimately, it's, it's fun for me to come to work every day. It's fun to coach this group. And it's a team that our fans can be proud to cheer for. Mike? Fran, it didn't look to me like there was any lapse in this game. I mean, you came out in the second half ready to go. There was another stretch in the second half where the, there was just no let up. How did you see it? Well, I, I challenged our guys at halftime. I, I didn't think we played defense in the first half at the start of the game the way we need to. Uh, we ratcheted it up and our defense was better. We created some offense with our defense. Our press was really good. Our half court man was not so good. Our half court zone was really active. Uh, so I really wanted them to lock in defensively in our man to man and, and defend our stuff. Mark runs great stuff. They run a variety of actions that end up in other actions. So, I mean, even if you have the play call, you know, they're coming at you with different things and uh, you got to play the possession through. And in the beginning, we really didn't do that as well as we needed to, but we did it beginning of the second half. Excuse me, created the separation that we needed, enabled us to get some really quality minutes for some of our younger guys who performed incredibly well. And, uh, and now it, it, it gets a lot tougher. John Bowencamp. Yeah, Fran, how important was it to play a lot of guys tonight? I mean, a lot of guys got you know, double digits in minutes. How important is that? Well, it's incredibly valuable because they have to get out there and, and execute our stuff, and understand how to play with each other, uh, play against a team that's running stuff that we haven't seen, that they have to make decisions and think. Uh, they have to experience some success, uh, have the ability to make a mistake and then play through it. And that's how you grow. And, and uh, I'm really proud of, all our young guys and how they perform today. Mark? Yeah, Fran, I wanted to ask about one of those guys in particular, Aaron Ulis. Uh, he's got 49 minutes so far. You ran him out there today with some of your veteran guys. What, what's been your impressions of him so far as a point guard? He's really good. I mean, you know, he's a guy that, you know, in a different year, you know, he could be starting. You know, I mean, he, he's that good. I mean, he's smart, he's tough, he's versatile, he defends, he thinks the game, he understands the game, he doesn't rattle, and he can score. So, you know, it just so happens that, you know, in this, you know, in this particular class, we or with this particular team, we still have Joe and, and Jordan and Connor, so there's some other guys, but, you know, in time, 
he's going to be a terrific player in this league. Any other questions for Coach McCaffrey? Okay, thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Bill, these last couple of games, you've looked really comfortable taking the ball to the rim. I know it's something you worked on in the offseason, but you still have you playing at a very high level in that regard. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I've definitely put on a lot of strength over the offseason, so just trying to use that to my advantage. Um, seems like they're trying to take away my three a little bit, so I'm just trying to get downhill and get to the rim, run out in transition, um, different things like that that um, can get myself scoring at the rim easily. Mike Colas. Joe, I know that you guys preach this one game at a time mentality. Well, the, the next game's Gonzaga. The, in the, re, the reality of it, how long have you been looking forward to this when you knew it was on the schedule? And, and uh, how much are you looking forward to it at this moment? Yeah, I've been looking forward to it ever since I uh, heard that we were playing them. Um, I think our whole team kind of has. Um, but like you said, we've been focused one game at a time. But now this game's here. So we're definitely going to lock in um, to that scouting report this week. Um, and get ready for that game on Saturday. Austin Hanson. Hey, Joe. Uh, I know you said you've taken it one game at a time this season, but you had Iowa State and North Carolina earlier this week, and then you have Gonzaga six days from now. Um, how did you kind of lock in on this game today, um, you know, a Sunday afternoon game against Northern Illinois? I mean, like I've been saying, it's one game at a time. Um, they're a Division One basketball team, too, and um, they got – scholarships they have really good players that um come out and compete you know it's five guys in the court against their five so um yeah that maybe their record's not as good um <clears throat> but it's still another team in front of us um and it's a type of game where we can um make improvements and work on ourselves um i think that's something that we were able to do today david yeah joe congrats on the win is this the sort of I mean, game, you know, you're, you're an Iowa native, you know, most likely number one versus number three. Is this something that you kind of grew up, you know, dreaming about leading Iowa to a top ranking and going off against number one team in the country in these kind of primetime settings? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all, I can, all I can say is I'm really excited for it. I know our whole team is. Um, this is a great opportunity for our program. Um, and just to have this experience um, early on in the season, I think, um, will really pay off for us moving forward. We know there's going to be a lot of close games throughout the year. So um, playing a big time opponent like this um, in the non-conference schedule um, is really exciting. And I think we're going to um, try to take advantage of it. John. Joe, you, you played just 19 minutes. What was it like to get a little rest and see some of those other guys play tonight? Yeah, I just tried to come out and be aggressive. Um, it's exciting. You know, you, you did your job when you're sitting on the bench for 16 minutes in the second half. Um, we jumped them early and kind of ended the game right away. So um, those guys deserve every minute that they played. They work extremely hard in practice. Um, so it's exciting to see those guys get the opportunity to go out there and compete and showcase what they can do. Okay, we'll take one or two more for Joe. Jared? Hey, Joe, congrats on the win. Uh, the ball was moving around really well tonight. Can you talk about just the chemistry your team has on offense now heading into this game against Gonzaga? I think we're just an extremely un unselfish team. Um, obviously, we have a lot of threats offensively, but um, you see high assist numbers for our team um, night in and night out. This shows how well we're moving the ball. Um, and that's something we're going to have to do because um, throughout the season, there's going to be teams double and Luca, and he's done a really good job of um, being able to kick out the shooters and um, we're able to find him and just things like that. I think we're just moving the ball really well and um, we've got to keep that up. Okay, thanks, Joe. Take me through that stretch of the first half where you were hitting threes, blocking shots, making assists. You really were in the flow of the game. How did that feel, and what do you test that to? Yeah, I just felt comfortable. I mean, the, the two threes, they're doubling off Luca, so I just had to be ready to shoot on those. And then just being active on both ends of the court, I feel like just something I got to be uh, day in and day out, and that translated, translated into blocks and steals. They, uh, the behind the back move and, and layup, where did that move come from? Uh, that's just quarantine work with my dad. I mean, we worked on various moves uh, through that, and uh, I was able to capitalize on that today. Mark Emmer. Yeah, Keegan, uh, when you came here, were you expecting to play this much, or have you basically forced Fran to play you just because of how good you are? Uh, I've just been doing uh, hard work in practice. I mean, just being active on both ends of the court, doing the little things, because – we have a lot of great players on our team, a lot of players that score really well, and that's just something that's 
if I feel a little things on the court, then uh, Fran will build more trust in me. Any other questions for Keegan? David Eichold. Yeah, Keegan, congrats on the win. Well, I know, you know, you came out kind of fearless in your first game, uh, but what's your kind of comfort level now that, you know, you're six games in your college career as opposed to when you first checked in your first game? Yeah, no, I'm definitely more comfortable than my first game. Just that, uh, that, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, that experience, I guess, has uh, really helped me in this game and hopefully the rest of the games. I feel more comfortable. John. There were a lot of guys to play tonight. I mean, you had, you had 11 guys with 10 or more minutes. How important is that now moving forward? I think that's good going into Big Ten play and uh, next week against Gonzaga. Just the more guys, the more experience that they can get on the court, especially our young guys, can really help whenever we need them. Any more questions for Keegan? Okay, thanks, Keegan. Yeah, Aaron, you've gotten uh, I think forty-nine minutes so far in your first five games. Uh, you got some time today with the with the veterans out there. What what, what have you learned so far about uh, playing at this level? Um, you know, I learned a lot. You know, especially as you said, playing with veterans. You know, we have a lot of older guys on our team, and it's just I just feel like that's a positive. You know, always playing with older guys and just being out there learning new things and tasks to um, on the court. Yeah, I saw early on you uh, pulled Joe Wieskamp aside to, to look like he asked him for some sort of advice. What, what was that conversation about? What did he tell you? Um, no, we just talked about the pass that I threw to him in the corner. He was saying that, you know, sometimes you got to read the screen and he may lift or stay corner. But me coming in the game, I just thought that he would stay corner. But that's pretty much all we talked about. Hmm. have time for one or two more for Aaron. David? Yeah, Aaron, congrats on the win today. I know you guys, you know, you're around a very veteran team who's basically one game at a time mentality. But, you know, honestly, how, how much have you been looking forward to playing Gonzaga uh, on Saturday? It's huge. You know, kids dream about this game growing up. You know, we're going into the game with a lot of confidence. And, you know, it's just a huge game. And we just need to come out, play hard, and just come out with the win. Anything else for Aaron? Okay, thanks Aaron, congrats on the